Good morning, Jenna. I'm going to try to make sure I got this thing correct. But you have one IV with two levels. First I, Your first DV is stress. Next one is pro-social. Third one is mood. And then you talk about mood being made up of two subscales. And that should be okay, right? You could just add them together as long as it's what we call a continuous variable. In other words, a high score for mood means they have a lot of mood and a low score for mood means they got a little mood. So that should not be a problem. Okay, so I would just consider that mood would be just one dV made up of two subscales. It's called an aggregated dV. You just add them together. Okay, so but this is you, right? One IV, three dVs. Quick word of warning, your dVs, they have to be they have to be correlated between 0.3 and 0.8. That's what all the textbooks say. Or your dV should be theoretically related somehow. Somebody somewhere should say you should run these three dVs as a as a linked group. So hopefully your dVs are like that. But again, check the correlation. So you got one IV, two levels, three dVs. Let us go to the G power. Please hold. So in G power, you're going to go to the test family. The MANOVA is an F test. And we want a MANOVA global effects because you only have one IV. If you had more than one IV, then you would look for interactions between the two and you got no repeated measures. So it's just MANOVA global effects. So the computer... So the G-Power software will go ahead and suggest a medium effect size. And that is 0 0.06, not 0 0.6, 0 0.06. Now, effect size is the amount of variance that you can explain. In other words, it kind of tells you how good your model is. And it changes from test to test. Like multiple regressions have different effect sizes. Um, T-tests have different effect sizes. Everybody has a different effect size. So the computer suggests a medium effect size for you at 0 0.06. And we always cut the power down to 0.8. Again, that is the acceptable range for power. That means your, your test is sensitive at measuring what it's supposed to. And the critical alpha is 0.05. We never change that. So the number of groups you have, that's your IV, that's 2. Response variables is your dB, that's 3. You cross your fingers, you hit the calculate button. And according to the G-Power, your minimum sample size should be around 180. I'll say that again. Minimum sample size should be a minimum of 180. You can have more than that, but that is what G Power says. So real quick, I'm going to give you a little tip. If this number is too big, you can change the effect size up to 0.1, which is considered a very strong effect size for this test. Then you recalculate. And it drops the number down to 114. So I will leave that up to you. Please let me know if this doesn't clear it up for you. But thank you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.